and that's done on the left here under the company section and the reason that's important is because in the next step when we go to the network section we now want to start loading software for the companies that we put into the gravity zone cloud and these are not containers until we've created them as companies in the company section so you gotta create them in the company section first then they will show up as companies in the network browser okay so let's talk about how we actually get um, software on our company computers and that really starts with packages the what Bitdefender does is they have uh, installation packages that they allow you to create and the idea here is if you're a technical service company and you have you know 20 companies that you're doing technical service for you could create multiple packages for each one of those companies why would you do that well different companies have different needs let's go into the package creation process and you'll kinda see some of the options that are available so you'll see that they break it down by modules right here so let's say you had a customer that said hey I'm never gonna need the firewall that's just not something that I would want and I don't think I would ever need device control so you can go in here let me just go ahead and uh, select a company to assign these to. Here's another reason why you need companies is because you need uh, a company to assign the package to. I'm going to go ahead and select these for our XYZ landscaping company. And let's say that XYZ landscaping, I just didn't feel like they needed the firewall piece and they'll never need the device control piece. Well, it's best to leave them with the most efficient product possible, which means we're going to take out what they don't need. And so they're going to use content control and advanced threat control, um, and those are the only other additional modules. You'll notice here what is grayed out is anti-malware, which means there's no way you can deselect that. Everybody's getting anti-malware in this package. It's not a, a possibility to turn that on or off. But this is kind of the start of different packages. Some companies will have a package with a firewall wall some will have without um, it's just different options this power user feature is kind of interesting this gives the user the ability to disable their scan engines now at first glance you might say well why would I ever want to give an end user um, that power sometimes it's necessary we have uh, for example a tax accounting firm I was talking to recently where they uh, install and uninstall their accounting software often and so when they do that they need to be able to turn off the scanning modules and so um, giving people power user capability is something that they needed you just have to be careful with how you delegate those kinds of uh, that kind of rights okay so this is the package creation policy and one of the things I'm gonna put in here is I'm gonna put without relay because we're gonna make a separate policy later with a relay and I'm gonna explain what the relay does okay so we've made a package it's our test package without relay and now I'm gonna make a second package and we're gonna um, also assign this to XYZ company so test package with relay okay XYZ landscape I'm gonna take off firewall and device control but what I'm gonna select here is relay what is relay what does he do he's actually very important to the Bitdefender process so what relay does is if you're installing Bitdefender on a machine with 20 computers it would be nice if we could have a way to scan that network to find all the machines on the network all the machine names and then remotely deploy software to all those machines so we didn't have to physically go to each one the relay enables that what you want to do is install at least one machine on your network with a relay and he will take care of all the network discovery tasks he'll he's going to be the, the machine that finds all the other computers on your network he's also going to be the machine that's going to pass commands to other machines so let's say we loaded uh, Chad's computer here with a relay and then you know um, Joan in accounting if we wanted to remotely install computer or com, com, 
uh, remotely in install software to Joan's computer, we could push that software out from the cloud console and Chad's computer would pass the instruction to Joan's machine to do the install. So the relay is kind of the quarterback of your network. And it's not uncommon for uh, networks to have more than one relay as well. Um, a lot of times we're dealing with big customers where they have 100 or more computers. They might have four or five relays just for uh, load balancing purposes. So you want to have at least one relay, and it's not unusual to have more than one. So here's our packages here. We've set up a package with relay. We set a package without. For most users, they don't need relay. Um, like I said earlier, like let's say you had 20 computers, you probably want to have one or two relays. That's probably it. The average user, you don't want to burden their machine with these with this slight extra um, data transmission that's required for a relay machine. Um, a lot of our customers where we're dealing with like an IT administrator, a lot of time the IT staff will set up their machines as relays and then all the end users don't get the relay software. So anyways, setting up package is probably the next step to do like we uh, went over in video one, setting up companies is one and then number two is setting out um, the packages so now our next step is to how do we deploy those packages to our computers. So let's go over that real quick. We're going to go ahead and install a relay package to this computer so that we can scan this network and see the other machines. To do the initial install, we're going to check the box next to test package with relay, and then I'm going to click the download button up here at the top. Then I select the appropriate download kit for my computer. Now this machine is a 64-bit Windows 7 Pro machine, so I'm going to select this download kit right here. And we're going to go ahead and save this file to the machine. And voila, we're going to come back and install this package in our network.